out of the car. You tell me Derek was back. What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus, you know Derek's not well. No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me. Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughing stock. Cop with the famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh -uh. We, my friend. We. You stop it. <coughs> stop? stop. Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy. Not a disaster. 
do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shot myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you.
All right. There's one less cop on the streets of Liberty City. What do you mean, Packy? I mean that my cop brother Francis McCreary is no longer with us. You and Jerry must be very upset. Hardly. Couldn't stand the bastard myself. That said, the only celebrating Jerry's gonna be able to do will be in prison. He got hauled in last night. Shit, is it serious? Charges ain't gonna stick, don't worry. Anyway, it means a lot to the family if you come to Francis's funeral. It's at the church in Suffolk today. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. We can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Hey, Kate. I am sorry to hear about your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family to accept him, and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cops. What did you think about him? To be honest, I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. <laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. But he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm, uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. Most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Hmm. 
You have a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh my god, get the hell out of the way! Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Can we put him in the ground? Shit, we lost the back doors! Don't lose my brother, too! Go easy there, Nico! but he didn't deserve to end up on the road like that. What have you fucking done, Nico? Motherfucker! There is no way out of here. are you gonna help me stop these bastards from killing any more McCreary's? I'll do my best, Becky! What in the hell is this? Don't these people have any damn respect? It's my own brother's funeral! Jesus Christ, there's four of them! I am pleased Jerry picked his fight with I'll you! Now we will make it bastard! Take him on down! Shit, it looks like... 
Looks like we got more of them coming. Stand up, Nico! They're coming through the alleyway, Nico. Watch the alleyway. Huh? Did that hurt? I don't reckon they could throw much more. Okay, Nico, time to get out of here. But I ain't leaving my poor dead brother to the mercy of them animals. Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Can we put him in the ground? Doors. Don't lose my brother, too. Go easy there, Nico. from some Albanian gangsters with a cop in the car. Can we call for backup or something? Are you suggesting that I'm a fucking cop? I thought that you would know better than that. No, you dumb European fuck. I met my brother, Francis. It was a joke. Hell of a fucking time to be making jokes about your dead brother. You know, I'm still not that fond of the guy, even in his death. I guess that's what turning cop will do to a fraternal relationship. I guess you've got enough brothers to hate one of them. Swiftly running out, Nico. Ain't got that many left. Now that Francis is on his way to the graveyard and Gerald is behind bars, all I got left is that smackhead Derek. You've got Katie. I could have fucking guessed you'd bring her up. I was thinking you only kept those hitmen away from the church to protect my sister. I did it all for you. Sure you did, Nico. Tell yourself you did it out of the grace of your own heart rather than for another piece of your anatomy, which ain't gonna get used, I might add. Finally, it's time to say goodbye to my brother. Amen. Thanks, Nico. What for? Guys like you don't like cops. Being here, helping us out, I appreciate it. It's not that I don't like cops. You do what you do to get by. Cops are just regular guys trying to survive. Anyway, I'm not here for Francis. I'm here for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. Patrick, how's it going? Want to go see a show? I couldn't imagine an Eastern European hitman at a burlesque musical, but why not? Pick me up in the next hour. Great. I'll be there soon.
go. Daryl McCreary, going from the Albany State Correctional Facility? Hey, Jerry. I heard you've been locked up. I'm sorry to hear that. We gotta discuss something. Put you on the business list here? We'll come down. Hey man, let's go. God, that is so God. sad! You're getting to know the McCreary family pretty good, Nico boy. What's left of it at least. You good people. I like it how you have stayed together. Oh All of us God, except for Francis. And we stayed together when it was possible. I guess we got Ma to thank for that, taking us to church and cooking a big lunch for the family on a Sunday. When Jerry first went to Juvie, she kept laying a place at the table for him. That was until my Pa got into a drunken rage one week and threw Jerry's plate against the wall. What happened? Ma didn't even flinch, she just sat there. The next week, Gerald's place at the table was empty. She must be a strong woman. That's what I thought at first. Now I just reckon it was denial. She got this power to switch off. When Pa would get drunk and do things, she'd just glaze over. I don't know, she's my ma, but I ain't never gonna understand that. There's a lot that I am never going to understand, Becky. A whole fucking lot. Driving in Liberty fucking city, eh? Let's go! Shit, I love that shithole! They gotta put something in the drinks there! I'm screwed! Nico, man, Nico. I just wanna I just wanna say, I just I just wanna say something. What? Let me think. Shut up and <coughs> let me think. Let me be the whole of me life. No one ever let me be. Do this, Packy. Go there. Hit him. Touch me there. You're sick. You're all fucking sick. Every last one of you. What are you talking about? I don't know. Coming back. Fuck me! 
I didn't know they had this kind of thing in Liberty City. Yep, why you want? Faster, or I will break some legs. We have two great acts coming up. First, the incredible climax. Need to see that shit. We take me to the house. I'm statistic tough guy. It wasn't you, fuck! Out of the vehicle, put your hands on. Move over, you maniac! LCPD people play the street! Let's fucking get there! That was a good crack, man. Catch you around.
good, not good, not good. Hey, MB, let's roll. Man, you ever wonder why I look so good? You ever think, what motivates Brucey to sculpt his body into rock-hard cut granite? Can't say that it keeps me up at night, but I guess that it's because you're a bit insecure. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, you're crazy bastard, man. Fucking crazy. I love you, man. I love you. But you're wrong, bro. Okay? I'm cut like I am because I can. Most people are happy. With being average, they settle for what a mid sized car, 2.4 kids, and a chubby fucking wife, huh? Yeah, right. I'd settle for people stopping trying to kill me. That's an average life I could go for. Ah, oh, you don't mean that. Oh, shit. You, you like to push shit to the next level as much as me. As I was saying, people settle for the average and don't look for anymore, okay? I want to be everything I can be. I will pump iron, hit the cardio, juice to the max. I'll do. I'll do all of that to look the best I can. That's why I've got the hottest bitches in my bed, the sweetest rides in my garage, the coldest ice on my wrist, okay? You know it, NB. I don't let anything stop me from hitting the pinnacle, baby. Let's put some B leg into the bowling scene, baby. Yeah! <laughs> Sort of a boring start. Leaves me with a bit to do. Bit of a rubbish start. How very average of me. You're like genetically average, bro. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Another turn. Pretty mediocre. I'll take that. Ah, my luck is not so good.
got there in the end. Close. okay for me. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty good at bowling. I need serious... Sort of a boring start. When will my luck turn? Leaves me with a bit to do. I'm on my way. Let me don't bowl like a bitch. <laughs> Well, that's most of them gone. I'll take that.
That'd be good times. I'll see you soon, man. They teach us how to use these sun eye messing around. Oh, yeah, you mind now. What's up? Bon appetit, motherfucker. Thanks for coming in first, shot. Hey, Cam! Take me. Uh, very kind of you. Hey, Nico. Ray. Take a seat. Thank you. So, you took care of that thing? Yes. I appreciate that. Hey, no, nope. I look after my friends. I got a lot of friends. Important friends. Jimmy Pegarino is a personal friend of mine. More or less. <coughs> hey, sweetheart. Hey. My God, you look like shit. What's wrong? Nothing. I haven't been to bed yet. I've been smoking crystal. You've been what? <coughs> what are you, a fucking idiot? 
white trash motherfucker. What is wrong with you? Give me a break, okay? I feel like death. Hey, hey, hey. What? It's because I care. You know that. Yeah, I know that. Now, speak into the ice. Yeah, they got it. They, they left it where you said. That's why I came over here. Can I get a goddamn copy yeah, here? Yeah, you look like you could really use some goddamn caffeine. I'm fucking coming down, asshole. I feel like death. Fine, whatever. Uh, Nico, need you to go collect some garbage for me. Garbage? Yeah, you wanted a career in waste disposal, now you got one. <clears throat> Can I get a goddamn copy oh, over no. here? What kind of garbage? Garbage with a lot of ice Today? in it. Today? Go over to F between Columbus and Denver. There'll be a truck waiting there. Three guys, good guys, friends of mine. Main guy's name is Luca. Go. Okay. <coughs> hey, sugar. <coughs> Come here. Oh, this will be over soon. You gotta stop me smoking this stuff, Ray. I'm fucking killing myself. I want to go. Luca? Yeah, you Nico? This is Tuna Fish and Johnny Spaz. Tuna, Johnny, Nico. Hey. So, we're all friends now. All right, Tuna, John Boy, you got the threads. Get in the back and get the trash. Come on, let's go. Nico. Here's your gear. You're driving. That cool? Let's roll. First pickups in Chinatown. Let's head it. So someone's been throwing out the load of diamonds? You could say that. Ray got that tweaker chick of his, the biker broad. You met her? Yeah, she's pretty strong out. Ray got her to get her friends to steal the ice off of some club owner guy. Her friends are the lost biker gang. I think I worked with a member of that gang up on Bohan. He was called Johnny or uh, something. Donut, this is it. Grab the bag. Yo, Nikki, open up the back. Got it, let's go. Next one's on 8th Street. Move out, Nikki. So fucked or meth that they threw the ice away? Nah, it seems his club owners got more connections than a subway line. He's in with the Ancelotti's, the Dominicans up in Northwood, everybody. Ray came up with this plan to keep a bit of distance between us and the robbery. The bikers is taking the heat for this shit. This ain't the easiest way to pick this shit up, even if we don't want to attract any attention. Yeah, me and Tuna was saying that before you got here. We were saying that there's a lot of opportunities for this to go wrong. The bank could split, the diamonds could go missing real easy. That's why we're going to be extra careful, right? We wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Of course not. You know how pissed Ray would get if he found out some diamonds were missing? He has a temper? Are you fucking kidding me? The manager of one of his waste depots was holding out on profits a couple years back. Ray fed him. This is the other one, Tona. Grab it. Looks like we got company. Crap! Someone's got wise. Let's get the hell out of here. Drive to Fish Market South. Uh, 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 
Rock is not really going to outrun anybody. Easy. You're just gonna have to do your best, ain't you? We're not losing this ice. I'm not having Ray cut my balls off because you don't think this truck's fast enough. I didn't say it was impossible. It's just going to be difficult. Nice driving, Nikki. Looks like you lost him. Let's bring this ice home. Good driving, Nikki. I thought I was gonna be checking out for sure. How'd they find us? I thought that we went through all this trouble so no one would know. I don't know. These diamonds are serious. Anyone who heard of them would want them. I ain't surprised we get a bit of attention. You want me to take the ice to Ray then? Nah, me and Tony will look after them. Sort them out from the trash. I sure hope we ain't lost any on the route. Things got shaken up pretty good back there. They sure did, Luca. Here's hoping we can find them all. See you around, Nikki. Yeah, 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 sure, Phil, sure. Hey, Phil, listen, you know me, and I know you. Nah, I didn't mean nothing by it. Hey, take it easy. Oh, Phil, take it easy. Hey, yeah, listen, tell Jimmy I said hello. Okay. I'm sorry. Goodbye. We got a problem. Who? You and me? Yeah. I got two options. Option one, you rip me off. Option two, Luca and his buddies ripped this boat off. Hey, hey! I left them with the stuff to bring to you as instructed. Maybe you're in on it. Maybe I am. But if you thought that, I wouldn't be standing here right now. You ain't as dumb as you look. Huh. <laughs> Luca hangs out in Castle Gardens. Go see him, go get my stuff back so everyone can get paid. Now. Right.
us, baby. We'll be our own bosses. Luca, I need that ice back. I don't know what you're talking about, Nikki. I gave every one of those diamonds to Ray. Now, we all know that that's not true. Fuck you, you cabbage-eating prick. Who says it weren't you that made off with them? That's what I'm telling Ray. The game's up, boys. We're out of here. Seconds to live, buddy. Let's go! Come on! I'm going to find you, Luca! Ray ain't gonna give you shit for helping him out, Nikki! You and me, we... You think I'm a joke, huh? I took out Lucas' crew, and I got your diamonds. What do you mean you took them out? I just wanted you to get the ice back. I didn't say nothing to you about killing those boys. Whatever. They're I dead, and me. I've got the stuff. You want to get your hands on it? Come meet me at the bridge in Middle Park.
Thanks, Nikki. I guess you never know who's gonna stab you in the back, huh? Thanks for the advice. Okay, kid. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry about your brother. Uh, me and Francis were never exactly close, but he was my brother, and it hurts. Poor bastard. He believed in something once. That's a hell of a lot better than me, I guess. <laughs> Fuck, I'll miss him. How are you? In here? Fine. Time of my life. Goddamn time of my life. What you up for? A lot of things, racketeer and armed robbery, a bunch of shit I never did because I was always a well-behaved family man who occasionally liked to drink, but nothing more. Of course, like us all. Like us all. But the thing is, I think I should make some changes in my life. Stop with the drink. Put it down. Stop hanging out with the wrong sort. Can you help me do that? It is a final chance at redemption. Look, whatever you want, I will do my best to help. Good. Give Packy a call. He'll explain what, uh, I need guidance with the most. The areas where I have strayed furthest from the path. See ya. You 
your brother told me to call you. Jerry wants us to kidnap old man Ancelotti's daughter. Some fake tan, dyed haired, Guido loving slut by the name of Grace. She's selling her tasteful pink felter on auto erotica at the moment. Get online, organize a viewing, and snatch that bitch. When you got her, bring her to a place we got on an alleyway off Sacramento. I can do that. You can do anything, Nico. Don't let her on that you're kidnapping her near her place, though. Play along with a test drive for a while to get her out of there. It's a real mobbed up area, and they'll come down on you. Damn heavy. Aren't you going to hell? One of my fucking brothers. Oh, shit! I'm, uh, calling about the car. Come to my place on Babbage Drive. You don't sound like the sort of man who drive a pink convertible. Well, I, I can't resist a bargain. You're the guy who calls about the car, the one with the sexy accent. <laughs> you mind if I take a test drive? You can test drive whatever you want. I love riding in cars with you European types. My family's from Italia, you know, somewhere in the south. Why don't you drive towards the south coast? We can enjoy the day. Fucking call. Fuck you! I'm dialing my daddy. 
He's gonna do more than test drive your ass, prick! Try to call him without the phone. I ain't gonna make this easy. Then I'm not going to either. So long, asshole! Hello again, bitch. I'm getting sick of you, you creep! That makes two of us! Daddy ain't here now. <laughs> Calm the fuck down, or little birdies will be eating your brains off the dashboard tomorrow morning. The moment I saw you, I knew you were an overcompensator, making up for your one inch punch with fast cars and guns. Later, dick face! You're fucking annoying! You're fucking with the wrong girl, asshole! I am Gracie Ancelotti and I... Shut up! Peace, class! No can do, Jacob. I've got a girl with me, and uh, I don't think it would be appropriate. But let's speak soon, though, huh? There he is. Stevie, dump the car. I'll take this piece of ass. Guys, the beach better be worth the trouble. The pa's got some serious cash. And he pissed off Gerald. That's reason enough for me. Well, they better pay quick. I hate to think of the fight she'll put up if you try to cut her fingers off. Gordon has the bitch. I'm done with her. Thanks, Nico. My brother will be a happy man. I'll get things in motion. Be in touch. for that. 